certain yeah, high, right. a certain high amount of unemployment. Right. So what, what do you what do you say to ordinary people who voted for President Obama and seem to be getting they voted for one thing and they seem to be getting another thing, and they say to you, well, what should we do? I, I think the it's important to. Uh, to explore these inconsistencies and to ask questions and to demand that we move forward as a nation where everybody, everyone achieves economic progress. We're seeing a jobless recovery. Uh, we're seeing a, um, an intensification of the differences between rich and poor. Uh, that's happening on the watch of a Democrat. I mean, I mean, frankly, we, we need to challenge the president to um, not to simply live up to his promises, but to live up to the promise of his administration that the American people bought into when they rallied to his candidacy in November of 2008. Uh, I, I was present during that inaugural. I saw two million people gather on the mall in a, in a ceremony of extraordinary hope. You could feel the energy on the mall that day. You could, you could, you could summon it if the president wanted to and, and, and put it as lightning in a bottle. And yet we've not only seen this energy dissipate, but we've seen put in its place an agenda that is so corporatist, so inflexibly dedicated to Wall Street's description of where the economy has to go, that it's demolishing the hopes of millions to save their homes, demolishing the hopes of millions to be able to have jobs, demolishing the hopes of, of millions to be able to have a level of health care which they have a right to expect. Thanks for joining us, Congressman. Thank you. Thank you for joining us on The Real News Network.